Hello and welcome to the ninth video showing how to restore a Triumph Herald over Tess. In this video I'm going to show you how to repair the bonnet assembly. As you can see here there's lots of corrosion around the inner and outer wheel arches. I've also replaced the original bonnet of the car with this one which is much easier repaired than the original. The best way to do this is to completely remove the wheel arch assemblies from the bonnet assembly. Normally I would just drill through the spot welds, however both the flanges are so badly corroded I might as well cut through the flanges and replace them as well. I then need to drill through the spot welds which are holding it to the front panel between the two headlights as shown here. That just leaves five bolts after removing these bolts. I can just lift off the wheel arch assembly as shown. Well this looks a bit tatty around the edges but it's easily repaired off the car which I will show you how to do in the next video. In this video I'll repair the front offside corner, D plate and the wing front lower corner as seen here. I will start with the front panel offside corner. Here is a template I have made to form the rear panel around. I have now cut the repair panels to shape. I shall form them around the template as shown. Then I need to mark out and cut the holes to fit the side light and indicator unit. This can be done quite easily with an angle grinder and a die grinder as I will now show you. Now that's welded in place, I can start on the front corner of the wing. First, make your cardboard template and remove the corroded area, and fit in the new pieces as shown here. You can use the new bonnet D-plate as a guide to get the corner radius of the wing correct. This one I got from Chick Doig in Scotland. It's a very good fit, exactly as the original. Next I need to repair the rear lower corner of the wing in the same way as I did the front corner. Make the cardboard template and repair pieces and fit them in as shown here.
After that, all I need to do is replace the wheel arch flange. I need to have plenty of weld penetration, as I will have to grind a radius on the outer corner to make it look original. In the next video, I'll be repairing the wheel arch assemblies. If you would like to see this Vitesse being fully restored with lots of detail from this to this, then please subscribe to my YouTube channel.